In this video we will discuss, a strategy based on Fibonacci retracements, and Williams percent our technical indicator. Fibonacci retracement, is based on the Fibonacci sequence, and is useful in estimating, the lines of support and resistance. Consider this candlestick chart, where we will plot, the Fibonacci ratio lines, with 0%, being the lowest close price of a trend, and 100% being the highest close price of the trend. Now, we will divide, the area between the 0% and 100% lines, into the Fibonacci ratios of 23.6%, 38.2%, and 61.8%. Please note that, we will also use the 50% level, even though it is not a Fibonacci ratio, because there is a high tendency of a security, to move in certain direction, once it completes a 50% retracement. Next, we have to decide, which among these lines should be the support and resistance levels. Let us see how it is done. In the chart, you can see that the price is moving up, and after the Fibonacci level of 61.8%, it has started to decline. The question here is, why the price went up to the level of 61.8% only, and not, 50% or 38.2%. We will understand this by introducing another indicator, the slow stochastic oscillator, which will help us confirm the price movements indicated by Fibonacci retracement. Note that, as the price reaches the level of 61.8%, the percent %K and percent %D lines of slow stochastic have crossed the 80 line and begin to move below 80, indicating that the price trend is reversing. Hence, we say that the slow stochastic oscillator confirms 61.8% line, to be the resistance or the retracement level. Similarly, we may check for other Fibonacci ratios, and find the corresponding support level. In essence, whenever the market reaches a significant retracement level, then, we will check if the slow stochastic is signaling a reversal. If it does, then, we confirm the signal, and trade with it. Now, as we have understood, the concept and working of Fibonacci retracement, we can combine another indicator with it, to form a strategy. In this strategy, we will be using Williams percent R, as the second indicator, readings from, 0 to minus 20, are to be considered, as overbought, and readings from, minus 80 to minus 100, as that of an oversold condition. For the sell signals, make sure, that the price is at the Fibonacci resistance level, after a downtrend movement, and Williams percent R indicator, crosses above the minus 20 line, from the top of the overbought area. And for a buy signal, check that after a bullish movement, the price has retraced up to the support retracement level, and the Williams percent R indicator crosses below the minus 80 line, from the bottom. This way, Fibonacci retracement and Williams percent R, work in conjunction, to provide a momentum-based strategy. To learn and implement quant strategies in detail, Enroll for our course which covers more than 6 strategies and models. Check out Quantitative Trading Strategies and Models course on Quantra.